member video. Originally recorded during the Force for Good class series in January 2016 with Sharon Salzberg and friends. We really pay attention differently. We act differently. And that same kind of measure of being impoverished comes through, and we need to challenge that. What I'm doing could never make a difference. It could never be enough. It's so meager. Um, it's so small. What do they need me for? My good wishes and all of that. But it's really just the same thing. So our own happiness is like resource within. It's that sense of sufficiency or abundance that allows us to really care. And so we pay attention to that. It's not selfish. It really, you know, these days, of course, the getting on a plane tomorrow, so, uh, you know, the cliche really is the safety announcements on an airplane where the flight attendant says, um, if the cabin pressure drops and the oxygen Masks descend, put your own on first before you try to help anybody else. So it is the perfect example. And at one point I was talking to a friend of mine who was a writer, and I said, I can't bear to use that example. Every colleague I have uses that example. Every colleague I have who writes, writes that example. I just, I can't do it. And then she told me, the woman I was talking to said, you know, I was just on an airplane and they made that announcement and the woman in the seat next to me said, I could never do that. I could never put my own mask on first. And I thought, maybe I can use that. <laughs> this is still like relevant and provocative and challenging, look at that. So I just used it. <laughs> Right? So it's in that spirit, not that we're going to only focus on feeling good, but because this is the resource out of which we can sustain an effort. Because anybody who tries to make a difference in anyone's life, a person, society, knows it's not easy, and it's usually not immediate. And nothing in life seems to be a straight shot, which is why when I teach meditation, I emphasize so much that moment of beginning again. Because I really believe there is nothing where we just make a decision, go for it, it's done. Right? We go forward, we fall down, we have to pick ourselves up or let others help us up, we go forward again. We have a giant aspiration and we lose touch with it. We have to start over. We have really deep values. We kind of forget them. We have to remember and begin again. So that moment, that movement of the heart is really, it's very important being able to start over and start over and start over. And it's not easy to care and not drown in that caring, to have compassion for yourself as well as for someone else. To have compassion for someone and realize, I'm not giving in, that would just be wrong. Or to have compassion for someone and realize, I can't fix it. It's not up to me, sadly enough. But that's so. so the deeply embodied knowledge of that kind of wisdom is not easy, but it's actually what allows us to go on. To learn about the Tibet House member archives, and upcoming Tibet House member trips with geographic expeditions, please visit tibethouse.us. Tashi Dilek, and thanks for watching.